Hey guys, it's Sarah from 52 Thursdays and I am here with Claire from Claire Ashley Beauty and we are here today talking about makeup tips for photography. I've had so many questions um, from readers and also from myself on how to create a makeup look that's photo friendly. You know, this is great for weddings, um, you know, school pictures, Facebook pictures, anything really. So um, I went to the expert and Claire is gonna help me put together an amazing makeup look that I have on right now. So we hope you enjoy. First for Sarah, we're gonna start out with her skin, which is probably the most important part when it comes to makeup for photography. We wanna avoid SPF and also avoid shine. I'm gonna take a hydrating moisturizer by L'Oreal Paris and it's from the Revitalift line. It's kind of this intense injection style Botox. serum. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Drugstore Botox right there. Cover effects, illuminating primer. And these both do not have SPF in it, and I'm choosing that for a reason because SPF is gonna give the illusion of a white ghost face, which I'm sure some of us have had in the past, and so that is usually because of the SPF bouncing back uh, the light from the camera. I'm gonna place this all over her skin and it's going to soak into her pores and create a nice even canvas and when you're under the hot lights maybe doing a photo shoot like Sarah does a lot or if you're going to be out shooting outside uh, this is going to help keep the makeup lasting all day long. Next I'm taking another Cover Effects product. We are both huge Cover Effects Fanatics. I am taking their new custom cover drops. You can kind of build the coverage that you want for photography. I find in photography you always go, on, go a little more than you think. It's really nice and again doesn't have SPF in it. And we really want to make sure her neck and face blend so that there's no line, especially for the photos. And the next important thing about photography is you want to define your features. And there's some key features that are really going to make a difference. And one of the first ones is the eyebrows. The eyebrows are totally going to make a difference. Don't underestimate the eyebrows. Do you notice, Sarah, when you don't, if you don't fill in in photos? That yes. The difference. I have in. really, really like light eyebrows. So you can hardly see them. Um, and so filling them in is definitely helpful. Looks like I have eyebrows. <laughs> Okay. Now we're going to take a couple of matte eyeshadows. I think mattes are the way to go when it comes to eyeshadow color choices because if you have too much shimmer it's going to reflect on camera. We want to keep, we want to contour the eye and the best way to do that is with matte shape. I love starting with a medium tone. I just want to put that through the eye socket. Taking a darker brown shade, we're going to graduate to a darker shade to kind of emphasize the liner. Again, we want to define her features. The best way to do that is going along her lash line. Take a very black eyeliner to define the upper eyelids. I'm using Tarte's gel liner and a fine pencil brush. Adding some false eyelashes by Ardell, and this is really gonna transform the eye look. Now we're going to continue with the rest of her face and we're going to move on to concealer and I'm taking the Makeup Forever concealer palette. I'm actually going to take this salmon -y tone to focus underneath her eyes. We want them to be brightened but we don't want to have it be too light under here since it will be photographed. We don't want the light to bounce back. So we just want to focus on covering any sort of blemishes or dark spots. And just using that, you can use your ring finger to press that in. 
you want to focus on powdering the face because you don't want excessive shine in photos. If you're oily, you want to really focus it on the T-zone area. It's also going to smooth out everything we did. Now my favorite part is the contour and this is going to be helpful in photos because we're going to bring life back to the face. We want to just frame it by going on the forehead, down the slopes of the cheeks, and pretty much just mimicking what the sun would do if we got a tan. Now I'm going to take a neutral tone blush that's a matte. Again, we're avoiding shine. Just want to smile and focus on the apples of the cheeks. And don't be afraid to go a little heavier than you normally do because again, it fades. So lip liner is going to be a really important step. We want to fill our lips in with it. That's actually my favorite trick to do for doing the lips because it creates a base, makes it long lasting, and it actually brings forward the color really nicely. And it's just a couple shades darker than her natural lip. And that's really kind of a great way to find a color for you is just going a few shades darker than your natural lip color. And then I'm gonna take Modesty, one of my all time favorite lipstick colors to especially used for photography. A lot of pigmentation and again is a couple shades deeper than her skin tone. This is gonna complete our look for makeup for photography. Sarah, are you ready to see your look? I'm so ready. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. So we just wrapped up our makeup tutorial on photography makeup and I had so much fun with Claire Ashley. She did such an amazing job on my makeup and I learned a ton as well. So thank you so much, Claire, for coming out and doing my makeup today. And I hope you guys learned a ton and I want you guys to subscribe to her channel because it's amazing. She has so many great helpful videos. I watch them all the time. Um, I'm going to link that below and also follow our channel and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Bye.